Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Temple of Anubis, where we see Bat Team Bat Panda facing off versus Team Carl Core. Today, we see the attacking team here in the lead by Team Carl Cool, who have proven themselves over the last couple of matches to be a scrappy underdog that cannot absolutely be discouraged. We see here Azun, uh, who is a very capable DPS, but might find it very hard to break that wall that Foxtrot Fire and Halter usually set up that might absolutely devastate any DPS team that comes up as the defending team is coming up there the, we see titamari on her uh, hanzo that is absolutely worth watching out for as she's absolutely point accurate when you give her the time to actually aim and we're off mcnoop on his hammond that's a strange choice from mcnoop usually not something that he does he gets away with that first attack with very low hit points but still he get he gets away from that as the team that is defending team bad panda is now holding up on point mcnoop trying to annoy people as this lexi is trying to find an opening now walling herself off from the enemy dps team urzun in the back line being shielded there trying to find titamari and unable to absolutely do so there is the uh, there is the first scrap over there on the right side. McNew finding some room for his team together with Deslexi as Foxrod has to jump down to Tamari on her own on the perch. See if she can actually work that time that she has. Warphobia taking down the first blood here on Foxtrot Fire. Holte still on the point fighting Jokin. Bad Panda still on the point here going for the healers. He takes them down. Taking down Carl Cool. Carl Shark taking down Earth. There is the first ultimate for Dyslexi versus the ultimate for Bad Panda. This Lexi and Bad Panda juking it out. Three versus two. Halte is still on point. Halte getting down to McNew. Bad Panda still alive. He's absolutely unkillable, that guy. If he doesn't want to get killed, he's not getting killed. Not by two tanks anyway. Bad Panda's still there. He takes down Joken to go down himself here in the last second. Now his team back on point here as McNew and Joken are still trying to find that opening. Foxtrot Fire and Island are absolutely defending it. There is the eye. Fantastically done here by Warphobia, getting some pressure on Kalschler, who had to pull away, but he's still alive. He makes it. Oh, Dyslexi coming in from behind as the red team now with a great advantage of four people taking this point easily with two minutes left on the clock here. Now six, point, six minutes on a point B. We'll see if this momentum continues or whether Bad Panda, who is absolutely known for their great defense, can do something about that. There's the ultimate by McNoob. McNoob trying to find something, but only doing a bit of damage here and there as the team is following him in. McNoob, this Lexi and Joken on the point. There is the ultimate by Foxtrot. Very important. The ultimate by Bad Panda. Ultimate by Carl Schlag. Bob is doing work with the double kill. Taking down two. Island taking down Warphobia as they're clearing their point. They're absolutely cleaning house down here. This is absolutely spick and span. The ult by this Lexi is stopped by Titamari. Well done right there as Island cleans up Carl Cool and they make it known that this is their point, their house, and you shall not pass. <laughs> Make noob coming in from the side. Trying to find that opening, finding the opening, actually jumping Carl Shark, find, jumping Bad Panda, getting out there, tr trying to recharge that ultimate, usually going very fast in the helmet. Uh, Zoom from the other side, taking some pot shots, McNoob back in the front line this time, not able to knocking anyone off, but making it out of there nonetheless. Let's see what the rest of his team does, as McNoob is distracting them proficiently. It's almost as if he was watching some Hammond and was stealing all his tricks. There! is the ultimate coming out from uh, Jokan no from Halte there is Island and Bad Panda holding it back fantastically done there with Titamari taking down the enemy Zarya the enemy Zarya who was in a position that could have been very very uncomfortable here for the defending team Foxtrot still on point as Kaltschlag and Island are looking for some early ult charge. Titamari looking for the flank, looking for the counter flank here as now there is Urzun 
and Kaku with a far mercy on the point. McNoob trying to find his old shot. Now being body blocked by Island. Proficiently done, but still he's getting away as Kalshla takes down this Lexi. They are really not getting anywhere close, but there! There is the Zenyatta ultimate coming in. Now he's trying she's trying to get the rest of the team in alone on the point as there is a great flank here from Urza and Karkul and McNoob. Kalschlag trying to find Urzun going down to him but still taking Warphobia with him. McNoob now dropping the ultimate. Fox for Fire and Island holding the point. Still very very tanky team. Holte with them. Titamari with them. Karlschlag with them. As there are three minutes still on the clock. The ultimate for McNoop not as well done as one might have expected. We'll see. There are only a couple of ultimates on the field right now for both teams as they are looking to find their next opening. Slight advantage to Team Karkul and the attacking team on the ult department as McNoop jumps back in. Trying to find a knockup. Not finding it again but some good ult charge coming out of this attack there is McNoob again always going that same route I wonder when team bad panda is trying to fully counter that round there is dyslexi dyslexi on the bastion trying to find that that first squishy going down Azun with the huge double kill ultimate dyslexi finally finding a target on titamari dyslexi also finding island here as the first tick is down four people for the red team 40 people off team Karkul on the point now as team bad panda has to give it up two minutes on the clock and they make a very difficult second point attack here that looked like it was absolutely in the pocket of the defending team but yet again the scrappy underdog proves themselves to be more than just a one-day fly as Ireland is honored with the play of the game.